Nice. Uh, we actually got two decent sentiments, Genduzi and Ruben Neves. So today I'm going to be telling you whether I like them or not. So basically a little review. I won't be using the player though. So don't come at me hating. <laughs> you don't use the player. Bro, to do a review, I don't have to use the player. But well, let's talk about the players. I will build you teams around both players. And let me talk about why I like one and why I don't like the other one or whatever. First, Gedusi and Ruben Diaz, they are literally the same player in these guys. This guy has 4-4, four, four, which, I mean, makes him a little bit more desirable and, like, overall better rounded stats. And then Gendouzi is, like, the bro, the poor man's Ruben Neves. And the main thing about this Gendouzi is, like, he could get a plus 2. So, in theory, he could become better than Neves. Now... Both have really, really similar attributes. Personally, these are not my type of players, but if you like them um, center defensive mid to stay down the back and like just distribute the ball, both of these players are gonna be brilliant for you. Yeah, I know. Base is not the highest, but if you are not like getting countered a lot, you can definitely use these guys on like stay back while attacking. They are both high defensive work rate, so they won't go up that much. And they both have a good presence in midfield just because of like they're both are they, they have oh no Rene is a bit shorter I thought he was taller but well in case in the case of Gendouzi he's high on average and he's quite tall so he's gonna be a great player to be in the mid in the middle of the pitch just distributing ball left and right sick card personally if you're in division one I don't think this is gonna be the card for you if you're below division one I don't know maybe below division five and this guy would be absolutely insane just because you know it's a good card to complete it's easy to link it's just that Hertha Berlin are literally in the relegation battle and they have not kept a clean sheet for so long. Oh no, they don't have to keep a clean sheet. They have to score. Well, they haven't even scored many goals. I, I literally saw their stats. Look at this. My guys, they didn't score on the last game. Previous to that, they didn't score. They scored one. They didn't score. And then, bro, they're not going to score five goals in four games. They cannot even score two goals in five games. So, yeah, I don't think it will get upgraded. So, you see this card like it is. And then Ruben Neves again and all the sick card. Let's build a team around both cards i'm gonna do one first let's do ruben nevis first just for the laugh hopefully i can get i can build you a team a prime team for one of them maybe and in hopes let's try and do a hybrid with both do i think you should use both in your team no that's this that that's crazy that's stupid but if you are a drop pipe merchant why not <laughs> make a team with both so if you got Adama beautiful you can link with Adama if you did not get Adama and um, you're gonna have a little bit of a harder time linking this beautiful Bruno into the, uh, this, uh, this beautiful Red Nevis into the team but I would recommend that link with Jota I think Jota is a great car you put a hundred on him he has the pace he has his dribbling I've used him I used him like five months ago but even then I thought he was a great no like three four months ago when he came out I used him and I really enjoy them, and I think he still remains as a great card. Like, his run was responsive. He's not like he he was pacey, he was decent on the ball, he wasn't that bad at passing, and he had decent stamina. I don't think any of the things that made him good have changed. So, this right on this right, on this left side is gonna be dope. Then, oh. Uh, Regarding Enduce's link, that is where things become a bit hard. You could use Mukiele and then in-game play Mukiele centre-back. So these two players here, you could be getting like someone like Walker and then play him right back in-game. Or you could prefer in a player that has a little bit more pace and then play him right back in-game. We're going to get into it in a minute. Hopefully we can use like a 4-3-3 version 3 and we can do like a Neuer sort of thing here where they put Davies in this position as well. So we have Davies who can play as a left-back in game then we have Mikele who can play center back in game and then Tierney who could also be our other center back in game so we can get a right back here who can make it as a right back in game of course because that's what we're lacking then the right winger for this team if I'm honest with you what you could also do here is you could link this team with Kante so rather than having Ruben Neves because I know a lot of people will actually like Kante over Gendouzi you could bring Hey, sorry, over Ruben Neves. You could bring Kante in for this Ruben Neves and make the team, you know, this is a nice way to link him into your squad. You don't need to do anything else. You make up for that. Everyone is using Gomez and um, sort of defense. And now you move into a more little hybrid, nice looking. The thing with uh, Bundes is that they don't have many tradable right wingers that are like top tier. If this Reina was a, little, a lot cheaper, it would be a ton more fun. But honestly, EA has not released like a 300k card that you can bring. Like Hernan was it, but he wasn't it at the same time. It was a dead card. This Sancho, I'm not the biggest fan on him so personally personally if i were you i would stay away from having an actual right winger from 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 from, from this league rather what i would do is i will get a french player who can play there so one thing that you can do is you can you can get gucci how much is, oh 270k for this one now i mean off cam 
not the greatest you don't even need that link though you know what i'm saying like you could be playing a a a, a right winger there you could be playing as i always tell you, you put rashford there you have a great right winger i think ea has not brought that many more new like new absolutely insane right wingers you can bring into your teams that i would be happy with so that's why i'll uh, maybe think about Rashi. You could do this actually. You could do this to make your life easy. He's on cam. He's on cam. He's on cam. He's on cam. And um, maybe get rid of Kante again. As I told you, I don't. I, I don't know how I actually feel about having Kante into your team now. But you know, when you already have Ruben Neves now. What are we looking for the center back? This is where the issue arises. We could, what we could do is we could bring Klosterman in. We could play him center back. This guy's left. Uh, this guy's the left back. We have this other center back, and now all we need is a left back who can play on the right side. So either an off cam. Hmm, that's dope. That's rough. This is what makes it hard with with the Inducey. Even though he's a great card. You kind of can, can't link him into another team just because he doesn't have that many good green links to him. Like, I am sure a lot of you will struggle with this. Like, you could get Telesin, you could get Telesin, play Davis off game on that side, bring uh, Bruno Fernandes because you're always liking that attacking minded player. Have this left side because, uh, as I told you before, Prem. Uh, sorry, Germany does like right wingers, so you can bring Rashi and well, right and left wingers, I think. Yeah, so you can bring Rashi and Bruno and Tejas in. You have a great left back, uh, you can play Davis right back or center back in game, and you keep Mukiel as a right back, I guess, or you can bring um Wolf in. Like, this is the other guy that was decent because decent Babu is like 350k, my guy. Like, EA has not brought us like 100k right back. You're gonna have to bring Mbabu in. Or the other thing that you could do is go crazy and actually have this left side go with a right side where you put Cancelo in because Cancelo is actually a dub card. The, he actually does link with Ruben Neves. And then your other center back, you could actually play Cancelo there and have Semedo, well, I used to use Semedo as a centre-back, I would personally advise to do so, this is crazy, this is actually a good team now, so you have a right-back, you have, I've used Semedo centre-back in the past, so don't hate me for this, this guy is insane as a centre-back, believe me, but if you don't want to use him, you can always go with a, with a, a with a centre-back from this league, like we literally looked at before, you can do this, and then you can have Ruzilun there, or he'll be off cam, Oh my god, this makes it 10 times harder. Well, if you don't mind about pace, if you're getting induced, you don't care about pace, so you just, just get a lava then. Just get a lava then. What's up? Yeah, there you have it. He has... He's not that hard to link. You put a lava in. Oh my god, what am I doing with this team, lads? I mean, the absolute... In the absol oh, look at this link. So, Ruzilun links to Gendusi. Then we have the Closerman link. We have this Neuer link. And we have that right side done. All you basically need here is a French sent a, a German center back, which we have on mm, this Udukun, whatever. That's not good. Ruben Diaz. I'm not sure if any of you at this point of the game want to use him. So we will wait for EA to release one of these players, or you say it's Mukele. Mukele is French. Ah, want it? Oh, yeah, we can do that. We can definitely do that. There you have it. There you have it. Mukele links to Gendusi. With Ruzilun, Klosterman as a centre back, these two link right there, and then we can use either Rashi of Chem up front. This guy does not need any more links. You can use you have your two centimeters. Yes, we managed. So we put Jota. You guys know he's one of my personal favorites. So you're done with Chem there. All you need is a French. Sorry. All you need. Well, you can play him as a left forward there. And who could be a right winger in this league? Bro, every time I do Prem, it's so hard because I really want to bring you guys some quality Prem right wingers. And like, they really lack someone that's like cheap. Like, I just want to bring someone that's cheap. Like, what? Veil? Would you guys use Veil? I don't think so. That's why I always go like this and I go Sun as a left forward up front. Or you could go to Bundesliga. Bro, you guys see how hard it is to actually build teams around these two players? It's crazy, bro. We can go with a left winger. Like, ooh, Shoboso like, oh, Grifo. Mm, if he drops in price, this would be a, an interesting choice. Uh, Diavi, oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Diavi is not the greatest, but 85k, he has two strong weeks for you. can play him on the wing for a laugh. Yeah. You put Dedai on him? 
Why not? Oh, you put finisher or marksman? Yeah, you put marksman on this beast? Eh, it's not that bad. Left winger, two star weak foot with... Oh, he ain't got no traits. Eh, I mean, you gotta... Or you can just go with Gucci, as we looked at before. By the way, I hope that by now you have seen a lot of links because I've shown you so many flipping links. It's crazy. And then all we need is any striker. You can put any single player that you want in here. You have a free player in your team. You have a team that you want to give minutes to. You put him up there. There is literally no reason why you shouldn't have a striker from Prem that you can put there. For my own sanity to have someone right there, we're going to go and we're going to pick. I don't want to pick. I, I per, uh, Yeah, we're going to put Son in there. It's... You guys are going to hate me because I always do the same. I always put Son left forward as a striker, but you can definitely do that. That's a 700k team. I mean, you could argue these are dead compared to like the midfield. But if you want to upgrade it, like the upgrade is pretty is plain and simple. You get the proper clusterman. You get rid of this guy and you could get... If you had the, yeah, uh, oh yeah, you get up a Meccano in, you get up a Meccano in, 100%, so 360k, beautiful, beautiful, then your left back could be literally anybody, so you can get Road to the Final Davies, and then, okay, cool, yo, Kron, you know what, I don't want to use Red Nevis, I don't want to use Gendusi in this team, so let's say you get rid of the Gendusi, and you go right here for, I, I'm sure this league has such a good CDM, I am 100% sure, well, you can, you can, hey, you can do Kante and have Davies off cam. I wouldn't like to do that. I wouldn't personally like to do that. I think, don't Leipzig have a sick... Oh, Goretzka. Goretzka. There you go. So we can do Goretzka in that position. Even off cam, I think he's a great card. 133k. You have 80 pace. You make up for like lack of pace on other players. And then in this position, you can put Kante. You can definitely put Kante in there. And then your left winger here can be someone like Navri, it can be someone like Sané, mm, Vervine, I wouldn't do, it could be, oh, this Douglas Costa has five skills, 290k, green link, beautiful left side, different than what you normally use, so Cancelo, great right back, insane defense, this Kante um, is a great car, oh, can you, yo, this guy's gonna be on the mod for Cam, like my, this son is gonna be in the absolute mod for Cam, so now, all we have to sort out is his right side. So instead of Kante, what you could do is you could get uh, you could get Bruno. You could get Bruno here because Goretzka already handles the defending anyway. So you don't need you don't need Kante in it. You link to these two beasts. So you have five skills, five skills, five for weak foot, two great sentiments. And all you're looking for uh, in this position is someone who can play as a winger. So you could do Potens left mid or you could go with Rashi there as a left mid and then get any right winger that you want in this position from this league. So there you go. There you have it. You have a hybrid with a lot of options. You can then come in and put him, um, as you saw, you can put Ruben Neves in this position up here and put him there and then find a way to link Cancelo into the team. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that this helped to understand who to link with, what to do. I know this one was a bit like rushed and whatever, but yeah, love you all. See you. Goodbye.